Right, we start with Chelsea and a development which could threaten the sale and therefore the future of the club. The story, reported by The Times, centres on the current owner, Roman Abramovich. As you can see, our chief reporter, Carve Solikol, is here. Right, Carve, what is this development? Look, I think we have to go back two months ago. That is when Roman Abramovich put Chelsea up for sale. He said it was a very difficult decision for him, and he also made it clear that he was not going to ask for the loans that he'd made to the club totaling £1.5 billion to be repaid. And he also said that all the proceeds from the sale would go into a charitable foundation and that money would be given to all of the victims of the war in Ukraine. Now, just eight days after that, on the 10th of March, he was sanctioned by the United Kingdom government. Now, that meant that he had to stop doing business in the UK. All his businesses had to stop. Nobody could do business with him, except a special exception was made for Chelsea Football Club because Chelsea, according to the government, are a cultural asset. So they were given a licence, which meant that they were allowed to operate until the end of this month, the 31st of May. In the meantime, the club was put up for sale. The sale was overseen by this uh, New York-based investment bank, the Rain Group. And we found out on Friday that they had selected uh, a consortium led by the American businessman Todd Burley as the preferred bidder. And he's got until the end of this week to finalise terms to buy Chelsea from Roman Abramovich. But what has emerged this afternoon, first reported by Matt Lawton in The Times, is that last week some of the bidders were told that Roman Abramovich or a company linked to him actually wanted to be repaid the loans that he'd made to Chelsea. Now, the loans uh, were due to a company, Chelsea's parent company is called Forstam Limited, and apparently some of these bidders uh, were told that about £1.5 billion would need to be paid to a company based in Jersey. Now, this is according to some of the bidders. Now, of course, what that would mean is that Roman Abramovich was not writing off his loans, his loans of £1.5 billion. And ultimately, that money could find his way, its way, back to Roman Abramovich. Now, there's no way the government are going to stand for that because Roman Abramovich is sanctioned. Now, what the UK government are saying is that Chelsea has to be sold and Roman Abramovich cannot get any of the proceeds. So this is something we've talked about a lot. What is going to happen to the money? Yeah, this you've is the, said it all along. This Follow is, the money. This is the £3 billion question. This is the £4 billion question. What is going to happen to the money and who is going to have control of that money? Is it going to be the UK government or is it going to be Roman Abramovich? Well, it can't be Roman Abramovich because he is sanctioned. The UK government are not allowing him to do any business in the UK. So we could have a potential situation where we've got a standoff between Roman Abramovich and the UK government. And all the while, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking because Chelsea's licence to operate runs out at the end of this month, the 31st of May. Now, you have to see it from both points of view. If you see it from Roman Abramovich's point of view, he is thinking... They want me to sell Chelsea. £2.5 billion I'm going to sell it for. I'm not going to get any of that money. I'm going to lose all that money. I'm going to lose the club as well. And I'm going to lose the, the £1.5 billion that I've lent the club. That is from Roman Rangers' point of view. From the other point of view, UK government are saying, look at what, what is happening in Ukraine. Look at what Russia is doing in Ukraine. Roman Ravich is somebody who is linked to uh, the Russian government. He's linked to Vladimir Putin. That is why he's sanctioned. We cannot have him doing any business in the UK. We cannot have him making one P in the UK. And in the middle of all this, a stuck Chelsea football club. Why doesn't he just not sell and hang on until sometime in the future when he will get his money? If he does that, what happens to Chelsea? If he hangs on and refuses to sell, of course, he could do that. He's got other business interests. He's got property. He's got a house in Kensington that's worth £150 million. He's not selling that at the moment and giving the proceeds away to charity. No, he's doing exactly what you say. He's sitting tight. But the only problem is, if he sits tight and refuses to sell Chelsea, then Chelsea will go out of business. Chelsea will not exist anymore. And, of course, he has said he's always maintained that Chelsea are very, very close to his heart and he does not want that to happen. 
But if that was to happen, who would Chelsea supporters blame? Would they blame Roman Abramovich or would they blame the UK government? So the clock is ticking, not just for Roman Abramovich, but also for the UK government, because they can't have a situation on their hands when, at the end of this month, Chelsea's licence uh, to operate expires and potentially one of the biggest clubs in the world could go out of business. Now, of course, uh, we've contacted people close to Roman Ramwich, we've contacted people uh, close to Chelsea, and they're not commenting on this at the moment. Right. We started this by saying this is going to affect Todd Burley. Is it going to affect Sir Jim Radcliffe and his bid? Where, where does that stand in all of this? Well, look, Sir Jim Radcliffe has come out of left field. Uh, we've always known that he's been interested in buying Chelsea Football Club. We know he's got a season ticket at Chelsea. Uh, we know he's one of the richest men in the UK. But he decided almost to ignore the sale process that was set up. Uh, the deadline to put your bids in was two weeks ago. He didn't engage in that process. He wasn't in touch uh, with the rain group. He wasn't doing all the due diligence that the other bids were doing. What he did instead is on Friday, he put in a massive bid worth in total 4.25 billion pounds but he hasn't been part of the process so I would f think it's difficult for the rain group to consider his bid but of course his bid is still there in the background and he remains interested uh, in buying Chelsea but we've still got the problem if Jim Ratcliffe was to buy Chelsea what would happen to the money who is going to control that money it's going to go into a frozen bank account who's name is going to be on that bank account? Is Roman Abramovich going to agree uh, to the government having total control over that money? That is what we need to see over the next few days. But as we've always said, it is about Chelsea Football Club and the future of Chelsea Football Club, but it's also about the money. It's about that three or four billion pounds. As the great Jerry Maguire said, show me the money. Carve Solico, chief reporter, thank you.